how to set up call tracking and get the best out of it. The first thing you need to do is register with Zadharma. Then connect the required number of virtual numbers. You can find out how to connect a number in one of our videos, link below. By the way, do not forget to top up your account balance. Virtual numbers have to be prepaid for three months for call tracking to work. After that, within your personal account, go to Services, Call Tracking. Click the Create a Tracker button. You will now see three different objectives that you might want to track. Collect information about user behavior or evaluate digital advertising effectiveness or offline marketing. On the screen that is called General Settings, you can set Tracker Name, Target Call Duration, Call Longer Than the Set Value Will Be Tracked, Session Duration. During this time, a phone number will be reserved for one user, only for dynamic call tracking. Your website. You can set tracking for all domains or just a certain one. Number Format. This is how the number will be displayed on your website. Then we move on to Extended Settings. Set Analytics Systems ID. It is necessary to track user behavior on the website. Another important parameter left is to set up the default number. This number will be displayed when all others are busy. You can input working hours if you want the statistics to be tracked only at certain hours. Click Continue. On the next screen, you need to choose phone numbers that will be used for call tracking. To make things easier, there is a calculator on the right side that will assist you in finding out how many numbers the tracker will require. Moving on to the next step. The third screen is for you to enter the sources that need to be tracked. Keep the default tracker to record client behavior on the website. This way, the tracker will collect data on all the visitors. On the statistics screen, you can also see where the visitor has discovered you. In other words, the traffic source. And in just one click, add a source, then start tracking. If you are acquainted with the system or would like to use it to evaluate the effectiveness of online campaigns, you should choose the second objective, online advertising. On the first screen, you set the tracker name, target call duration, and your website. Just like in our first scenario, you can track all domains or just a certain one. In the extended settings, set analytics ID and working hours if statistics should only be gathered at certain hours. Click Continue. The next screen chooses the phone numbers you need. We recommend choosing a separate number for each advertising channel. You can choose these on the next screen. You will have the following options available. UTM tags. With this parameter, you can display a certain phone number to clients that came to your website via a link with a certain tag. Organic traffic. Here we count website enters from search engines. Traffic from another website. Use this source if you have placed ads on other online platforms. In the settings, indicate whether you want information from all domains to be tracked or just a certain one. Direct hit. This is useful if a user entered the website address in the browser directly. By country. Using these settings, you can display different phone numbers to users from different countries and cities. This is an efficient way to make your business look local and neighborly. To simplify the process, we recommend using static call tracking. This is because the client has already completed the target action before the call, then clicked on a link or entered your domain in the browser, and their following behavior is not of interest to us. Also, do not forget to set your advertising budget and ensure it is allocated to a particular marketing channel. In this case, the system will automatically calculate the price of every target call, and you will be able to evaluate the financial side more precisely. The tracker for offline advertising is even easier to configure. On the first screen, you need to set the tracker name and target call duration. The next step would be to choose phone numbers that are placed on marketing materials. Then set the source name. For example, radio advertising and enter the cost of the campaign. This is necessary to correctly measure the advertising effectiveness. Regardless of the tracker type, except for offline advertising, for the last step, the system will generate a code with a required CSS class that needs to be placed on your website. After the system gathers data, you can study statistics in detail. 
Just click an icon in the list of trackers. You can see call statistics, conversions, the number of target requests, and graphs that will clearly display the outcomes. Moreover, you will get information on your most successful landing pages that lead to visitors making a call. With these insights, you will be able to better structure and optimize your campaigns, 